The word on the streets is that life is getting better. Things are improving. Things like diets. Doggy diets, to be exact. Especially for these three doggies. They are switching from processed food to feeding fresh. Carrie is a thinker. This fresh diet she has heard so much about makes sense to her, but like most important decisions in life, she takes her time and does her research before she gets going, especially for her pup, Chuck. She knows he has an allergy to something, and doing a gradual four-week transition will allow her to not only eliminate the harmful processed food from his diet, but also to pinpoint exactly what has been upsetting his stomach. So Carrie trashes her kibble and starts feeding Chuck a fresh food diet slowly introducing the different ingredients that make up his bowl. She will be monitoring his energy levels, stool, and skin to make sure that he does not get any rashes. She also has slippery elm bark powder on hand to help with any digestive upset. Week 1, the protein phase. During this week, meat will be 100% of what Chuck eats. Carrie will be introducing one white protein at a time. Chicken, turkey, pork, then duck. This way, she can see how Chuck does with each protein. Week 2, Bone Phase. Carrie has a long list of options to choose from, and just like the protein, starts introducing one meaty bone at a time to see how Chuck takes to it. Bone now occupies around 10% of his fresh food bowl. Then it happens. She discovers that Chuck is allergic to pork. He is fine with every other protein, but when he eats pork, soft serve every time. No more pork for Chuck. Week 3, the Organ Phase. Carrie now introduces liver, kidney, and spleen to his bowl. This is now taking up 10% of his bowl as well. Week 4, Seafood Phase. Seafood will provide Chuck with omega-3s, zinc, and iodine. She has a short list to choose from and again, tries them out one at a time, increasing the amount to occupy 15% of Chuck's daily fresh food bowl. Also, during week 4, she starts adding fiber, fur, and vegetables, breaking the veggies down by steaming, sautéing, or running them through a food processor. By the end of week 4, Carrie is in a groove, and has not only transitioned her daily routine to accommodate the meal prep for her dog, but Chuck has successfully made the transition and also eliminated pork which was always upsetting his stomach. It's a beautiful day here in this dog park and here in this dog park it is only getting prettier as each frolicking dog makes the transition away from harmful processed food everyone at the park has more energy to run, smile, and grow shiny beautiful fur. Thank you for following this journey of regular dog owners who became pillars of their communities and inspired their peers. Regular people that made the change and made the world a better place by deciding to feed fresh. The end.